as you can see, it's Christmas. We've got our tree up already. And this year, I've bought two main cameras. Uh, I've invested in a Panasonic DVX200, as you will see on many of my previous videos, trying out different stuff and reviewing different bits and pieces, because that's kind of what I like doing. And I've also invested in the camera that I'm using at the moment, which is this one, the AX53. So it's a small camcorder, great vlogging camcorder, and just a really, really capable uh, consumer sort of high level consumer camcorder. I love, love this camera, it sort of goes everywhere with me now. I, I use it much more than I do the DVX200 and it costs probably a quarter of the DVX200, maybe even less than that. What I wanted to do today was look at the color on the DVX200. And the reason I'm saying that is because the uh, one of the problems I think people have with it is that the color that comes out of it can look a little bit odd. The, 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 with the AX53, there are never any problems with color. It, the color, it kind of basically nails it every time on the Sony, uh, as far as sort of the right kind of white balance and the skin tones, and it just seems to get it right every time. On the DVX200, it's a bit more of a struggle. There's a lot more you can adjust as a result. You know, you can, you've can you got full color matrix options. And you know what? That's a bad thing. It's like a like a, an audio processor where you've got endless controls. You end up just tweaking with it and you're never ever happy with the results. So what I've got here, I'm actually recording at the moment and I'm gonna show this to the camera. I'm recording this at the moment off the uh, wee. <laughs> Everybody does that. Off the um, Sony AX53 directly into the uh, external recorder. And I'm going to uh, show a color match chart, which I have in, in the other room. I'm going to show a color match chart up. I'm going to hold a color match chart up and I'm going to put this on vector scope. And I'm going to take a picture of how the Sony represents those colors. So I'm going to do a white balance match, first of all, on the color chart. And I'm going to hold the color chart up, put the uh, vector scope up on here, which I'll do at the moment, actually, if I can if I can bring it up on here. Uh, let's bring up our vector scope, if I can see it. Which is not letting me do at the moment. Is that? Oh, no, it has. Sorry, it's just because I'm recording. Uh, so you can see that you've got a color vector scope on the chart there. You can't see it very well actually uh, because I'm obviously recording and there's not very specific colors. With the color chart you'll get very definite points on that vector scope and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a photo of that and I'm going to bring the DVX in. I'm going to try and mimic that precisely. So I'm going to set up a profile on the DVX to mimic the exact colors and the exact amount of color that the Sony gives. So essentially what I'm going to try and do is create a Sony AX53 profile for the DVX200. Don't know whether it'll work, but I'm going to give it a try. Right, so I've reset the white balance uh, to line up with the, well actually the back of this, so the white balance should be in line with this. I'm not, it's not a perfect scenario because obviously I'm using natural light coming in the window which will probably change and I've got a bit of tungsten light around me so it's all a bit of a mix but the point is I'm going to just give it a try anyway and get it to line up with this he says if you can hold it up. So this is our color chart. I'm absolutely sure I'm holding it up in the right direction but it doesn't matter too much. Let's zoom in on that. And can we get our focus? I don't think it really matters if it's focused or not too much, but let's get our focus on it anyway. There we are. So there, if, if, uh, if you were to look at a vector scope of this video, you would see very, very specific marks. And I'm going to take a picture of that, in fact, on my iPhone. But this is going to be tricky because I'm <laughs> I've got to hold this up. In fact, I'm out of focus now, aren't I? I think I'm going to get my iPhone and I'm going to get it ready and then I'm going to take a picture of the screen. Wow, this is pretty botchy. <laughs> but let's give it a try. I'm going to get I'm going to need I'm going to need the screen for reference there. So let's get them all in. 
get you another all in. Great, right, let's see how that came out. Yeah, so that's not too bad. What I get on my, on my Inferno there, you can see on the iPhone, uh, is get a very specific splay of color out from the center, which is what, let me just focus this again. Uh, which is what we use, what, what I'll use now to adjust the color matrix, because as we adjust the color matrix, it kind of spins around the vector scope. And then as we adjust the saturation levels, they move in and out of the vector scope. So I'm going to give that a try now on the DVX and just see if I can come up with anything close to the Sony. One thing I've noticed is that the the colors here are actually pretty good already. Uh, I set up a profile sort of manually really, more by sight than anything else, and they're all pretty accurate. I've made a couple of minor changes, and what I'm seeing now is that this certainly visually matches the color checker, and secondly matches it uh, on the vector scope compared to the Sony. <laughs> right, this is getting uh, all a bit confusing now, so I'm not quite sure if this is uh, entirely fair. Uh, I've tried to match the two together, and as I say, they weren't actually that far off. Um, but uh, what we've got now is, this is the DVX200, so this is record recording now to the external recorder. This is the Sony AX53, so we'll put them side by side and see the different shots, obviously, but put them side by side and see if we've got anything even close as far as colors concerned between the two. Now, of course, the DVX200 is recording in 10-bit 422 color on the external recorder, so theoretically, the, the color should be better on that, but I guarantee it's not gonna make any difference when you look at this shot. Um, we've got a nice, sharp shot on the, four, on the, on the DVX. Uh, it looks pretty good. I've tried to sort of do the zoom about the same. It's probably more like that, actually, isn't it? But uh, let's just see what it looks like uh, and um, see how close I managed to match them. If you've enjoyed this, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I don't know where I'm looking now. Give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, comment below if you've got any questions or any thoughts. I will uh, catch you soon.